Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and you're watching me at Home Talk. So we're going to start with this wooden container. We have these in stock at nickseasonaldecor.com, and what we're going to do is fill it with foam. So here we have dry foam. I do want to emphasize the part that says dry, because if you use fresh floral foam, what ends up happening is it'll absorb water if this is placed outdoors, and it just becomes more brittle um, over time. This is, you know, more like styrofoam. You could also be using styrofoam. You could save some pieces from, you know, um, orders that you get from Amazon and stuff. You could save, uh, save some pieces of styrofoam foam but the first thing we're going to need to do is cut this into smaller pieces so I'll just take my brick of foam the container is six by six and I'm just going to kind of measure out to see where I need to cut it then I'll just create a little score mark come back with just a serrated knife and just cut it off then what we can do is we can come back in with some hot glue here we just have our glue skillet and a scrap stem, so just apply some hot glue on the bottom of it. And truth be told, you don't need a whole lot for this project. We're essentially just sticking in a tree, but that is a good chunk of hot glue. And once we compress that into the container, that glue will be nice and secured. So just press it in. And then you have a few scraps, which you can just toss right in the container. So what we can also do is take another brick of foam or we can test out our tree. So this tree is also available on our website and this is known as a cemetery spike. You can place these in front of headstones, but today we're going to be using it as just a miniature Christmas tree. It does come with a spike that I just secured uh, by twisting it around and I did actually work in a little hot glue to make it much more stable. So this is about a three foot tree or so and let's work it in. So I'll just take the end of the tree dip it in our glue skillet, come back to our container and just poke it right in the middle, like so. So notice that there's a little bit of a gap. We can come back in with extra greenery. We can also come back in with moss. Uh, we could add tinsel to it, little ornaments, little presents, whatever we decide to do. But the tree is nice and sturdy, especially with that spike and hot glue. So now we'll give this a minute to harden up and then we can start securing our ribbons. So now we just have some narrow ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little loop and just secure it to my tree. So one thing a lot of people don't really um, realize is that with evergreen wreaths, evergreen Christmas trees, anything like that, you can actually just use the twist ties that come on the form. So all of these pine branches are wired and you can man easily maneuver them and manipulate them and secure them to your design. So when it comes to wreaths, it's the same process. Just take them and secure them around and I like to really make sure that that loop looks nice and pretty so we'll cut off the end this is 5 8 inch ribbon and we do have some available on our site as well but this particular one uh, I got a long time ago and I got it from Walmart uh, funny enough so you know think of those you know stores that you wouldn't really necessarily get ribbon from sometimes you can find nice ribbons so we'll take our next piece and place it on the other side Again, just take those twist ties, wrap them around, come back in with the loop. We're trying to make this as even as possible. All right, time to come back in with our next. So this is actually 7 8 inch ribbon, and I wanted to keep it on a smaller scale. So what I'm showing you guys here today is what we actually do to our 7-foot trees, our 6-foot trees, our slim trees, our pencil trees, and our big tree in our living room, which is our 12-foot tree. So if you've seen our videos on my page, you will notice that the technique is very similar. And this is one of my favorite techniques because it always looks great and you can just do it on any scale. So the larger the tree, the larger the ribbon. You can do this with one and a half inch ribbon for most size trees. And when you start approaching bigger trees or wider trees, you can start using, um, you know, two and a half inch ribbon as well as four inch ribbon. And if the tree is absolutely massive, I'm sure you could use six inch ribbon. All right, so this one is a little bit lower. We'll just continue that pattern. Take our next piece. Place it here. You can also have them curling down like that if you like. It really just depends on the look you're going for. So I'm just twisting the branches of the tree. 
cut another tail. So now we're done with ribbon. So what I thought we would work in, because I want to keep this tree kind of classical. We have some of these berries. These also came from our site. And we're just going to break them down into smaller pieces. So what I really like about these berries is that they have a little bit of shimmer to them, uh, but not in the way of glitter, in the way of like artificial snow and ice. So it's a really pretty look. We're just breaking these down into smaller pieces. And we can work them throughout. So just snip them off. And if you wanted to break them down even more so, you absolutely can. But I think those are big enough pieces uh, for us to work in. So all we have to do is just bend them to shape. I want these facing downhill. I don't want them to be sticking straight up because the tree is going downhill. Dip it in your glue skillet. and Just poke it into your tree. So again, just bend them down. Lift up and then work them in. And then whatever else we have left, we can just place wherever we think we need a barrier to. I'll place one there. All right, so now we have these little ornaments and these came from Walmart and these are gonna be the perfect size for this tree. So we often talk about uh, both on my page and Home Talks page, scale. Scale is a very important concept when it comes to designing. You know, if you're working in full-size Christmas tree ornaments, even though they are still small, it just wouldn't look right. So we'll just take these, dip them in our glue skillet. We're not going to secure them like you typically would do with an ornament, uh, just because, A, that would take too long, and those hangers would be, you know, too prominent in a design like this. Because those hangers are made for kind of more standard size ornaments. So we'll just take these, hot glue them sporadically throughout. We can take some, place them on the surface, some towards the inside, some on top of the ribbon, virtually anywhere and everywhere we think is necessary. And our final ornament can go anywhere. I'll just place that one there. So now what we'll do is we'll show you guys the finished product. I'll have this on my table and give you the final reveal. Okay, and here is our finished tree. So I love the simplicity of it. I love that we didn't overdo it. And like I said, you could fill the container with fo uh, with moss or more greenery, but you can hardly see any of that foam anyway. So I have him just staged with a little snowman I picked up, and I love the way this turned out. So I love the red and gold combo. It's very traditional, it's very classical, and everybody seems to really like that. So make sure to work in some ribbon next time you decorate a tree. So thank you all so much for watching. This is Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and you're watching me on Home Talk. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.